Alrighty, ladies and gents, I know it's been a while, but we'll come back to the channel. Today, we're going to be taking a look at and theorizing about what's going to be going on with the next game after Modern Warfare 3 Zombies. I know we got BO6 Zombies coming in soon, but Modern Warfare 3 Zombies just kind of ended off on a cliffhanger, and I think I know what's going on for the next game, or at least where we're going to be going. So, if you guys don't know, uh, the final boss fight was against this kind of dark entity that was like the Dark Ether version of our main character, Janice. And essentially, after you defeat her, um, a bunch of the Dark Ether anomalies close around, like, like where Operation Deadbolt is and all that shit closes down. But if you actually watch the cutscene, um, I don't actually have the cutscene recorded right now, but I did beat it, so I did watch the cutscene. And essentially, uh, there's a couple things that people have been saying. So first thing is, is when Janice is looking through the old documents of Project Jansen, she sees... Um, a bunch of the Rick Toffins like uh, documents. So first off, he sees the Wonder Waff document. And now if you actually zoom in on it, it will actually show you that it's a prototype and that there's gonna be a final release for it uh, very soon. So we can kind of assume that the Wonder Waff will be um, maybe not on the um, Liberty Falls map, but like maybe the map after that. Cause it basically says that the, the Wonder Waff is like about to be released to the public. Right, or their military are going to be using it in their like uh, armies and stuff. So there's that, and then there's also this other machine, and you can only make out. There's basically a little acronym, which says LTG. Now I'm not entirely sure what LTG means, but it is the name of the device that's going to be used. It almost looks like a nuke. Now, what's kind of interesting is when Danson walks past the mirror, it ends up showing this really shadowy figure. Now, a lot of people are saying this is the Shadow Man. I personally don't think it's the Shadow Man because I think that him and Monty are killed because they would have shown themselves earlier on in the story, I feel like, if they were actually, like, real villains. Like, they would have been fighting court effects and stuff. I don't think it's them. I just don't see them going back to that era of the story with the multiverses and stuff. What I do think, though, and what a lot of people, I think, are overthinking or overlooking is that it might actually be Dr. Uh, Gray from Cold War story. Now, the reason why I think it's her specifically is because if you guys remember the sort of ritual that they went through at the very beginning of Modern Warfare 3 Zombies where you show the, the shows the characters all like messed up like they're all like their skeletons and stuff after doing this ritual with the Dark Ether. They don't really explain why that happens in the lore and the, in one of the cutscenes it shows all the characters as zombified it almost looks like they're still alive like Weaver and all them so I feel like their souls are somehow trapped inside the Dark Ether and maybe this is Grey reaching out because Grey's arm looks really skeleton like skeletonified that's even a word right and that would really coincide with how she looks in the sort of uh intro for the game so i really think that she is gray in the mirror maybe she just gets a top hat somehow i'm not really sure but then after that um it also shows her being pulled in by the entity and now i think that she's just going to be going into the dark youth and probably being turned into like one of these beings or whatever, whatever is gonna happen there. But what I really wanted to talk about is what's gonna happen after this now. So there's a couple different theories that I have. The first thing is, is this game will be probably explored in Treyarch's next game or Modern Warfare's next game. It's definitely not gonna be uh, in Black Ops 6. They're just gonna be focusing on what happens after Cold War during Black Ops 6. So this game is gonna be taking place way in the future. And what I think is going to happen is it's actually going to be a set of characters. Now, we don't know exactly what happens with Rick Toffin, but if he ends up actually joining onto the good side, he might actually end up going looking for uh, Janice, per, uh, perhaps by the end of Cold War. So it might be like the group might be like Ravnov, Soap, Rick Toffin, and then whoever else wants to join them, right? And they might actually end up going looking for Jansen inside the Dark Ether, because maybe Ravenov might even come to Liberty Falls, and Liberty Falls might be in the next game, or perhaps they could be going to some other Dark Ether area, or maybe they even have Richtofen captured and they ask him how to take them into the Dark Ether. Like, there's so many possibilities for what they could do. For what I personally think is that with this next game that's going to be continuing on MW3 story, is that they're going to be specifically touching up on, you know, okay. Ravenom needs to go look for Jansen. The whole game is definitely going to be going and looking for her. So if they're going to probably just going to be traveling to a bunch of maps trying to figure it out. And uh, maybe she might even be the final boss at the end of the game. Who knows? Or maybe we even will rescue Weaver and them by the end of the game. Who knows? Um, but yeah, 
main theory is is that it, the next game is just going to be Ravanov looking for Jansen. Definitely going to some facility, probably Liberty Falls. It might be a not maybe not specifically a map, but it's definitely going to be important to the story. He's probably going to go there first and then meet some people there, maybe Richthofen, and then he, they're going to go somewhere else. But uh, yeah, that's all really, we really know right now. So yeah, basically that's it, guys. Catch you in the next one. Peace.